Hello everyone, this is Lydia and this is a video response for Barbara. She is Callie Scrapper one here on YouTube. I will put her information down in the description. I will add a link. She's hosting a challenge and it's for a full card and I love challenges so I joined and she has an amazing um prize package for one lucky winner. As a matter of fact, I think she's doing two um she's um drawing two winners, one US, one international. U.S. gets the main prize, and uh, international, she's doing a a, um, a rack, a goodie box. So head on over there and join if you like challenges. And um, like I said, it's a fall card, and it ha it could be any size, fall colors, yellow, oranges, and reds. Um, you had to stamp or emboss a sentiment. Use ribbon or lace. Bling, you have to use bling. Flowers, and it's due by September 23rd. And I think the drawing is the next day, so I'll put all the information up, down in the description. So today I'm using a table tripod, and it's kind of awkward for me, um, so hopefully this video will not be a hot mess. So anyway, for the papers, I used Recollections All Seasons. It looks like so, and I think I got this one at Michael's. And I used, this is what's left over from the paper that I used. So here's my full card, and, oops, my little background is falling off, let me see if I can fix it, here we go. So here's a full view of the card, and like I said, I used the recollections for the background paper. For the stamping, I used, um, I believe these are PSX stamps, I've had them in my stash forever, and they're like little circles. They kind of look like the vintage key keys, and um, I stamped fall. Um, let's move out over here. This is my bling. I hope this counts as a bling. This is the um, the little jewels that you pick up at a Michaels in the dollar fifty bin. The uh, leaves. I can't talk today, so I put one there. It was fun going through my stash of um, fall goodies, and then the image I got online, and I believe most likely this is going to be the graphic fairy, but I'm not sure because I get a lot of my images from her. So sweet, it's got a cute little um boy fairy. I guess it could be a girl. I don't know, a fairy, a pixie, and he has like a little acorn for a hat, and there's some acorns on there, and the fall leaves, really pretty. He's um, sitting on a branch. Love that image. So then over here I have um. A skeleton leaf that I received from Lori. I think it's red. Um, Elemania here on YouTube. Thank you, Lori. And then I added this cute little felt sunflower. And I get these from um, Michael's, which I have to go this year. I go every year. And in the um, the section where they have like all the kids stuff, they have packages of felt felties. And I just love these. I, I get the different ones every year. Here I have a bit of um, doily trim that Leone sent me in a rag. Thank you, Leone. You had to use flowers, so those are my flowers. This is a paper flower that I created using a punch, and I just added a button and some um, book paper. And then more flowers. Here's another little leaf tucked in here, bling leaf. Orange flower from For the Love of Art, little Martha Stewart butterfly. Used her punch to make the butterfly. I love her. I love this punch. And it's a little chevron design. Oh, I see a glue string. And another for the love of art flower in orange. And this one is yellow, also from the love of art. And then here I have some silk leaves. You know, you get a bunch either at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, Michaels, whatever. And then you cut them apart. So I have some silk leaves here. And then this is a wooden fence that I picked up at, um, I think, Hobby Lobby. And I gessoed it. And then I grabbed my... um. Vintage photo, which is what I used on to distress the papers, and I just kind of smacked it on to give it like a weathered look. And then you had to uh, use ribbon, so here's my ribbon. You use um, you had to use ribbon or trim. I used um, this ribbon trim with the leaves that I got from Elizabeth's store, Beauty Bomb Bomb Creations. And then this is another felty. It's a pumpkin with the stitching, so pretty. And another piece of uh, lace that I received from Lori. Thank you, Lori. And then this three-dimensional sunflower. That it came like this with this texture. So I think it turned out pretty cute. 
I really like it. And I just, I hope I met all the requirements. I have my flowers, I have my ribbon or trim, and I have my bling, and the colors there. So yeah, that's my card. And then on the inside, I kept it really simple. I um added some more paper, some more of the Recollections paper. This is a Sizzix die cut piece. And then this sunflower is a rub-on. Looks really cute. So, and the rub-on is, who makes this? Crafts and... Crafts and Crafton. That's what that looks like. Okay, this wasn't so bad. Thanks for watching, everyone. Post a comment if you wish and subscribe. Have a fabulous day. Bye.